Well, hello, hello, my, my beautiful women of the Wow Now Revolution, and welcome to day number four of the Effortlessly Stylish Woman. I wanted to, from the bottom of my heart, welcome you and thank you for the amazing feedback I have had on the post I, I did yesterday about asking you some insights into my group program. And I thank you so much for taking the time to actually answering those questions. Uh, so I want to welcome today number four. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a wardrobe that works. And I know that for most of you, this is one topic that can seem like a little bit of an overwhelming topic, or it might seem like an impossible thing to achieve. But before we get into it, I just wanted to touch on a couple of things. First of all, I want you to make sure you do have your workbook printed, the Effortlessly Stylish Woman Workbook, because this workbook, workbook is going to help you to actually answer the questions and, and take the, the, the information I'm, I'm sharing with you to a deeper level. I want to make sure you have completed day one, two, and three, because before we get into talking about a wardrobe that actually works and what needs to happen for that, um, I want you to really understand my philosophy. And for those of you who don't know me or haven't heard from me before, I'm Alba Gomez. I'm a style and personal brand expert, and it's my absolute passion and desire with this challenge to inspire as many women to really feel confident within their own skin, to fall in love again with the women they are. And from that place of confidence, uh, really learn how to create a new style and a personal brand that reflects you authentically. So you have heard me saying this a lot, but I will say it before uh, again, it's so much more than the way we look. And I don't want you to underestimate the power um, of creating a wardrobe that works. And, and I've heard many different um, views about this. In, like people say, yeah, whatever, clothes, they're not important to me. Or how is that going to affect my success? Or that's something that sounds just nice if I could do it. And I wanted to reflect a little bit deeper into that because your styles, your style matters. And this is so much more profound than just how you look. This, we are talking here about you being confident on your own skin. And I can tell you there is nothing more uh, powerful than you standing in the best version of yourself and communicating with people from that place of confidence, communicating with your partner, with your kids, with your colleagues, or with your clients. I have seen it on my own life and the lives of so many women that this creates a transformation in such a deeper level that it really, it makes me more passionate about it. Second, uh, my approach because of my own experience is so much more deep than, than the style itself because as I mentioned a few times, I did learn how to look better just because I was bullied and made fun of. But I learned that there was a big disconnect with how I saw myself and how I felt about myself. So for me, it's all about you loving and appreciating yourself. A little reminder here that this week we are being super gentle. We need to be gentle and loving and we need to stop the self-criticism and the self-sabotage of us not feeling worthy, beautiful enough, capable and doubting ourselves all the time. Those things end here now. So for all of you who are joining now, I recommend you type I'm here so I know who is joining me here live for the takeaways of the day. I'm also going to be announcing today the three winners of the one hour one on one with me for sharing this challenge with your friends and have an amazing announcement that I'll do at the end. Uh, so then, now that we understand that creating a world of the works is so much more important than just thinking how am I going to look or not, because you have completed day one, two, and three, and you have done your homework or your workbook that I prepared with so much love for you all. I want you to also understand one thing is everything we do in the first one hour or two hours after we wake up, we wake up is so important and it's going to set the tone for the day. Picking up your clothes most likely is going to be in between those two hours. When you work in your wardrobe and within two seconds you feel frustrated, fat, inappropriate and depressed, that is just going to lower your vibration. When you end up putting on clothes just because whatever or because I don't have anything else to wear, you're just going to be depleting your confidence and, and you are just making a disservice to yourself by just putting on whatever or just putting on something that is not making you feel proud and happy and is not allowing you to creatively express who you are because as I always say for me, our clothes, our hair, our makeup are just a way of us expressing and loving ourselves. This is not about 
uh, vanity. This is not about superficial. This is about you loving yourself. And also it's important that to understand that we are sending a message to the world and the message we send is really going to affect how people perceive us. And if they want to uh, have contact with us, it can be either we are selling ourselves on our day-to-day -day basis. So it's important to understand that your image has a huge component on all of that. And as you very well know, we start on the inside, but today it's all about your wardrobe. So let me know you're here, say I am here, say hello. So I know you're here. And then let's get into, uh, I'll share a statistic that is quite scary. I was, uh, I, I found out this few years ago, I, I knew it was a lot, but women, uh, statistics shows that women spend a whole year of a lifetime picking up what to wear. Isn't that amazing? A whole year of our lives is just spent picking what to wear. Add to that the time that we spend buying clothes and add to that the time in um, the frustration you have been, you have been <laughs> experiencing by buying things and being successful or buying things that are not so successful or having a wardrobe full of clothes that you don't wear. And I can tell you from my professional experience and having studied this topic well in depth, this is not just me waking up one day thinking, oh, I, I know a little bit about this, I'm passionate about this. I have studied for years the science behind the size, the colors, your personal brand, and your image. Um, it is amazing to realize that most women tend to use only 20% of the wardrobes 80% of the time. That is why we stand in a wardrobe full of clothes, but we still think we don't have anything. And, and think again, uh, we, are, we sometimes even change clothes twice a year, and uh, twice a day, sorry. So all that amount, amount spent in something that maybe is, is, is not being joyful and exciting. And I can share that even though since I was in my, you know, 15, 16, I started learning and studying and even probably the last five years is that I haven't really got to a point. So we're 20 years playing with it when I really, the science and the practice hit and I have now such a functional wardrobe. And I can tell you honestly and openly here, I am, I have a, a wardrobe that is filled with absolutely everything from a $5 top to a one more expensive. So from a 10 the dollar pair of shoes to some that are more expensive, everything in between. And I am no one who believes in that because a brand is expensive or well recognized and because you just go buying into very expensive shops, you're going to have a great image. I have seen it myself, people who spend a lot of money and they still don't look good. So looking good is not about the price tag. It's all about you understanding who you are from the inside out. You're getting to know your body so well and your colors and your styles that you can go into Target and find an amazing outfit. So I am a true believer that we can all look good and attractive and beautiful on any budget and at any point. Because when you also learn to understand yourself and your body, you can make the, the most out of it even when it, is, it has a couple of extra kilos or 20 or, or 100. Like it doesn't really matter. Looking good for me is an inner feeling it's a decision that you're going to make the most out of what you were giving what is the point of wasting more time and energy uh, disliking how you look disliking how you who you are doubting if you're good enough no more of that nonsense and i say with so much passion so much passion and belief is because i was there i was never fat i can accept yeah i was blessed with being uber skinny believe it or not i was bullied because of my uber skinny legs so, you know, it doesn't really matter how we look on the outside. That is an inner decision that you today want to make the most out of it. So let's get into how to create a wardrobe. So I want you to think um, and imagine this situation. You have guests tonight coming for dinner and you're going to prepare a chicken pasta. Let's just say something quick that I like. And then you decide, yes, I'm going to cook this delicious chicken pasta. I'm going to go to the shops and you go shopping and you get to the shops and you think, oh, I forgot the list. Oh, and I forgot to check what I had and what I didn't. I didn't check the recipe. What happens? What is most likely going to happen? You're going to get back home and you're not going to have absolutely all the ingredients that you need. And you might probably forget the chicken, which is what's the main ingredient of your chicken pasta. That is exactly the same thing that happens with your wardrobe. No one told us we need to treat our wardrobe from a different perspective and we need to plan our wardrobes. Who said you just go shopping for whatever and then by some art of magic, outfits put themselves together. 
No one. Who told you that if you don't plan your wardrobe, your wardrobe is going to work? Or who said that if you never buy clothes, you're going to find uh, different outfits? Or who said that by spending thousands and thousands, you're going to have a good, uh, a good option for mix and match and creating outfits? So I'm here today to tell you that your wardrobe needs planning. This might be an exciting um, concept or it might be scary. Um, just relax with it because I have seen women create amazing outfits over and over and again and it's not that complicated. All you need to understand is that you need knowledge first. So that's kind of like the recipe. And I'm provide, I, I am here to provide you all the tools and information you need. I have studied this science for years and I love it. Second, you need to understand what you have. So when was the last time you did a declutter? I want you to honestly uh, and thoroughly um, look into your wardrobe and not just go for a quick take. Let's take out the things I'm not wearing now or the things that I don't, 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 don't work now. Like a thorough declutter, like when you actually pull everything out or you just take outside what is not on season at the moment, when you really go and ruthlessly get rid of whatever is not working today. And only then we can start working here. So in the workbook, you have there some questions that are going to help you, um, go through this and, and just, you know, implement this information. I'm going to briefly talk about all the information. Once you have done that declutter, you need to reorganize. If you don't have gone into people's wardrobes or don't even virtual wardrobe decluttering and I ask them for X or Y and they take three hours finding it or cannot find it, who has time? for that in the morning. You need to store things in a way that you can see them easily. I know we might have limitations with the space, but there's many ingenious ways of storing things in a way that you can see them. And I can tell you, I prefer you having three tops and two pants that work for you today, that have your wardrobe clutter with the stuff that you don't wear, wear, um, wear and then you just spend hours just no, 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 no. So I recommend you ruthlessly get rid of things. Plus, when you get rid of things that you don't wear and you don't like or they don't suit today, the amount of energy that is released because you just got it, got it, where a, where a, where are the gaps, which is another thing you have on your workbook. Where are the gaps? What are those things that you keep saying? Oh, I need this. You're putting an outfit and like, oh, I need this to go with this. Oh, I need a new pair of black shoes because this one looks so old. I need a pair of new shoes because they need to go with my green and other color pants. I can share with you one of the strongest things you can do is paste a piece of paper next to your wardrobe and for two weeks write down all those pieces that you go, I wish I had this to go with that. You will be surprised that you're going to end up just being missing your wardrobe basics. And what are the wardrobe basics? Are all those pieces that make the foundation, it's kind of like having the onion and the garlic and the salt and pepper for any recipe. Like for me, it's like, must ingredients. When you have those basics in place, everything else comes to add to your wardrobe. So it's all about this is all about having an understanding, the colors, the size, the personal brand I want to project, you knowing yourself, you having allowed yourself to understand your personal style, you allowing yourself to say, okay, I'm gonna go for people. I am fully and I understand how that is important for me, my confidence, but also for the opportunity and the success I create in life. And then from that position, we start declaring your wardrobe, organizing it in a way that you can see it, making a list of what is missing, setting a foundation with your wardrobe's basic, basics. And I can tell you, sounds so simple, it is so powerful. Why we're just talking about wardrobe today, not before? Because you need to piece together different elements. And as I said, you need to start your work inside and be your best version, be ready to, to shine your light before we start talking about clothes. I just had a couple of women who are asking me to take them shopping and I said, no, I won't because I do not believe in just shopping. I did that for a few years and I realized I was making a disservice to my clients. It's like putting a bandaid in a huge open um, thingy that is bleeding. I want you to do all the steps before you get to the shopping, before I put on, I teach you how to put on some makeup because doing the superficial, I'm just gonna check, change my, my clothes and my style and, and just get a couple of outfits. That's not work, it doesn't work. That is a superficial change that is not gonna to create a transformation. And I just believe in a full transformation from the inside out. I got too excited, sorry. <laughs> so coming back uh, to that, so you have there on your workbook, your questions. 
And then I, may, I, I, I want you to really get in, into making that list. And then on the next page, I ask you to create a lifestyle file. And this is another super simple tool that uh, is going to help you so much. So I just did my homework. I did mine here, if you can see it. So what a lifestyle pie is, you go into your, in your, into your lifestyle today and you say, okay, what are, the, what are the activities that I feel in my day-to-day -day life at the moment? So for me, for example, I can share with you what I have here. So I have uh, smart casual clothes for clients. So I like smart casual towers a little bit more dressy just because my style is like that. I like it. 40%. 20% is like out and about, so a little bit more, it does professional, more relaxed, out and about 20%, like a casual, more dressy can be. 20% home office, so for my home office, I can be very casual, however, I can, I, it's important for me to feel good. So it can be casual, but I still do a little bit of mascara and, and put in a top in a color that can be comfortable, but it's one of my really good colors. 10%, I do still corporate training. So it's going to be more corporate clothes where I need to look the part. So then again, remember, this is all about understanding as well that the styles and the colors we wear create an impression on people. And we need to know how we come across naturally and how can we balance that with clothes. So there's so much more science and, and I find it really fascinating uh, behind the, the clothes. It's not just buying a top and putting it on. There's so many implications into how that top can make you feel and how can people perceive you because of what you chose. And then I have 5% uh, lately my sport gear yeah. <laughs> for the first time in my life exercising. So then what I, want, what I did is just I transferred those percentages into my little lifestyle pie and then I just realized, okay, so I need smart casual, smart casual for clients and for no clients because for me they will be different. Uh, out and about that it can be a little bit more sexy and a little bit bolder if I wanted to. Casual for at home and my, my, my gym gear. Then I need to compare this lifestyle pie with my wardrobe. Does it reflect exactly what I have, because what I see all the time is women spend most of their lives in a next type of clothing, then you look at the wardrobe and they don't have enough amount of clothes to reflect that. So, uh, or for example, for me, when I transitioned from corporate to doing my business, I was full of jackets um, because I do like that, that more professional look, but they were super colorful. I find my way of being professional, keeping my boldness and my big accessories and stuff. So what I had to do was to start buying more clothes that were not as corporate because I'm actually not going to see doing a Skype consultation with a client wearing a jacket. That just doesn't, I feel constricted. That is not me anymore. Like I still enjoy my jackets and I wear them when I want them. I use them for my corporate trainings, but it's not my day-to-day -day life. So make sure your uh, lifestyle is consistent with your wardrobe. Whatever percentage you give to X or Y amount of clothes, make sure they are consistent with what you own. And the other thing I want to tell you is the same amount of time you take putting on a pair of leggings and a top like for exercise, I don't know exactly how you say it, that people say you live on your gym clothes is the same amount of time you can take putting a pair of jeans and a nice top and a necklace. It's exactly the same time. I have done the exercise myself to try and wear gym wear and actually take longer for me. So this is all about, as I said before, understanding what works for you. You get all the tools and the knowledge, the recipe. Then you get in your wardrobe stuff that actually works for you. Remember, this is not about filling our wardrobe with whatever. This is you going with intention by things that you need buying the things that are going to close the gaps and no more emotional shopping, a little bit less. Um, how many orphans do you have in your wardrobe? Those pieces of clothing that lay there lonely and don't go with anything you wear. How many pieces do you have there that need alteration and you've known that for two years? How many pieces there that are waiting for you to lose the weight or to put on weight? either situation. No more of that. Move those things to the back of your wardrobe or to another room. Leave there what works today. And with that, you're going to be able to maximize and understand what you have. Create a list with those gaps and go shopping for everything on the list. Stick to the list. This is what we're going to have to develop a little bit of self-control. It's on sale. My friend has said, it's really beautiful. Yes, I, I still do it. I love shopping. Like I have problems, I, but I have got to understand that before I set the foundation, emotional shopping is just going to increase the frustration. So be aware of that. Make sure you go to your workbook and fill all the questions there that are actually going to really, really help you, help you complete your wardrobe as, 
I've said during the whole um, challenge, we're going to take it to the next notch on the webinar on Saturday, 9 a.m. Western Australian time, midday Sydney, uh, 2 p.m. New Zealand, and, and it will be Friday, 8 p.m. for Eastern States in America and South America. So make sure you tune in for that webinar, invite your friends. We're going to be bringing all the elements we've been talking together in a way that will have you going like, ah. Oh, you will have the recipe. You will really understand that creating that look, that side, that personal brand is just you making a decision of from the inside out, um, stepping to your power initially, uh, uh, loving and appreciating the woman you are today. And then from that place, actually creating that outer image that is going just to bring success into your life. And I have shared it before briefly, but I, I, I have always said I've been really lucky because uh, as an engineer, I always had really good positions. I've always had really good to Australia, I ended up working for this huge Japanese company who just created a job for me. And I truly believe I was good as I was at what I did as an engineer. I know my abilities were good, but I also knew I knew how to project myself. I knew how to communicate. I knew how to dress to look the part. And I, I backed that up with my substance and my knowledge. So I know that if I've seen it many times that if, if on the outside I had not looked the part, I would have been a notice. And that's why I want you to be visible and stop worrying. No more worrying about oh my god what if i and that's one on the webinar i'm also going to be talking about the top three reasons why you are not expressing yourself fully and how that is robbing you from your success and the happiness you want in your life so with that i want to share the great news i said i was going to share with you today so i want to thank you again for your feedback on the uh, group program i am so excited i made a decision this morning and what i decided to do was that as a thank you, and because obviously you're my favorite women, the ones of this group that are just giving me as much as I'm sharing with you. I love doing this. I, I am going to launch the groom program this weekend. But I thought that before doing that, as a thank you for being part of, of this group and from your support and your energy and your comments, I'm going to open it just to the Wauna Revolution women. And I'm just going to open it at a super reduced price, at a super early bird price, and I'm going to add a bonus that you're not gonna believe it. So I'm gonna be uh, posting something this afternoon. I'm just fine tuning now and making changes to the reduce price and everything so I can launch it. So I'm gonna open that for 48 hours only just to women in the Wildner Revolution before I launch it into the public. So if you wanna be part of this group, uh, keep an eye on this, on this, on the Wildner Revolution Facebook group. I'm gonna give you all the details. It's going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be so much fun. I thank you all for your feedback. I refine a couple of little things here and there because you told me what you wanted more of, less more, less of. And as I said, I'm going to launch a super special prize just for you girls with a great bonus that you're not just going to believe how cool that is going to be. So thank you so much for being part of this challenge. Thank you so much for your feedback. And now it's all up to you. Go and play with your war book and remember how you look outside is just a reflection of what you are allowing yourself to be. So are you ready to step up into that bright, confident, radiant, beautiful woman that you are already? Are you, are you going to be able to see that woman and are you going to allow yourself to show that to the world? So I hope the answer is yes. And with that, I send you all my love. And I'll see you tomorrow for the very last day of the challenge. And then Saturday, we're going to be wrapping everything up with the webinar. If you are part of the challenge already, you're going to be instantly subscribed. If you're not, make sure you subscribe. The link is at the top of this video. And invite all your friends. It's going to be just an hour full of tips, bringing together all the elements we talk about during the challenge, plus the top three reasons you are not fully expressing yourself and how to overcome them. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.